Joining me live tonight is Jason's mother and father and also his fiance, Karina. I thank you all for being here and my heart goes out to you that you are going through this um, horrible, horrible tragedy. Corin, I'd like to start with you. We heard you a moment ago talking about Jason. Have police received any promising leads that you can share tonight um, that are pointing you in one direction or another? I think the most promising lead is uh, the composite sketch that has been released as of last week. Um, as of now, our understanding is there are no other leads. Is there anything that can, can be ruled out? Have police say, said anything like it, it wasn't this, or, uh, he wasn't a target? Um, at the press conference last week, um, they said, you know, it's just random. There are no leads. There are no, there's just no answers that we have. Hmm. Candelario, where were you and your wife when you heard yeah. what had happened? Uh, we are right here where we, we see it right now, right behind the sofa. Uh, we are watching the news. And you know, talking about uh, actually talking about him that he was you know, he wasn't here. So, but he called me a day before when he got there. He told me, uh, "There, I'm right here. I'm okay. They're gonna pick me up." And that was on Thursday, the ninth. And um, the next day, we was sitting right here when Corina came knocking on the door, screaming. And as soon as I heard the screaming, I, I knew something happened because uh, you can tell and when she walked in there, though I said, Jason is dead. And, like, and you know, you feel the whole world just, just crumble. Like somebody can do that to Jason. Mm -hmm. Such a good kid, good student, good uh, friend, uh, very talented, a filmmaker, a musician, uh, a photo, uh, what do you call the uh, um, ticket, uh, for, can we say photographer? Photographer. Photographer. Mm -hmm. We got a magazine here that publishes his uh, pictures back in 2020. Very, uh, he made the cover in the magazine. A very talented photographer so, um, and, and out there doing what he loves. Yeah. Car Karina, I can't imagine what it was like for you to hear the news of what had happened. Do you recall your last conversation with Jason? Um, he actually called me. We had a video call that morning. Um, he showed me where he was staying with his friend. Um, we were just having a conversation. We had just recently purchased a house earlier this year. So uh, pest control was coming out that day. So that's what we were talking about. And that's the last thing we discussed. Mm -hmm. Did he have his cell phone with him? He had his camera with him. Anything on either of those devices that has helped? Uh, there's nothing on there. The police went through everything. and. and there was nothing on there, so they were actually able to release that very quickly over to us. Mm -hmm. uh, you made a very emotional plea for help from the public earlier today. What do you want people to, to do in this case to provide some answers? We want anyone out there who sees a composite sketch and it looks like someone familiar that you know um, to just come forward. I know it may be your loved one. It may be your brother, your son, your cousin, a friend, um, but that person took Jason's life and we'd love you to come forward um, and give details to the police. Um, we also want Jason to be remembered, not for the senseless killing, but also for who he was. Um, his wonderful and amazing friends have actually created a website for him to portray all of his passions and works. Um, and that's at celebratingjasoncortez.com, where we'll also be providing news updates regarding his case as well. As you said, this is going to be uh, a Christmas that you would have spent together, your first Christmas as a married couple. What did you love so much about him? What attracted you to him? His, his laugh, his, um, his humor, he was the most funniest person I've ever met, even though I wouldn't let him know that. Um, but he made me laugh constantly, um, and he loved his mother very dearly. Uh, he would do anything for anyone. Um, that's why he was over there. He was helping a friend out, because that's the kind of person he was. Mom and Dad, I'm going to give you guys the final word. Um, how do you want your son to be remembered, and what is your message to people who are watching tonight? Well, I'm telling with the people we need the help to help to find this person. If they have 
something, do you know, about that? Please call the police. Because my son, you know, he's my best son. He's my first son. You know what I'm feeling? This Christmas is no Christmas for me. I don't have anything here because I'm going to miss to him. He all the time, he called me. If he called me two times a day, two times he say me, I love you, mama. And this is what I'm going to miss to him. This Christmas, I don't feel, I don't have a life. I don't know. On the side, when I go into bed, I'm crying. If I get wake up in the middle of the night, I'm crying. When I get up in the morning, I'm crying. I don't have a life. Mm. And I tell it to the people, we call the police if you see if you see something, please. We need help. And Jason need help. There are a lot of people out yeah, there who, who go ahead, go ahead. I'm sorry. No, I say it'd be very very difficult for us uh, to um, to comprehend what happened. What well, we don't know. We got a lot of question, no answer, and it's gonna be a very difficult Christmas for us. Like Thanksgiving, you know, we had an empty chair in our table. It was not happening like before we used to, and mm-hmm. it's probably not gonna be the same. It is senseless what has happened <laughs> very to, difficult. to yeah. Jason yeah. and to your family. It is tragic. It is maddening. And I hope that by coming on tonight and by sharing this suspect's picture that we can get you folks some answers that you so desperately need. Uh, Thank you again for coming on tonight. Uh, Jason Cortez was killed. He was murdered in California. It has been three months, and this is the sketch police are releasing tonight. And there is also a reward in this case for any information that can bring this family some clues and some answers and hopefully some closure in this senseless case. Thank you all, and uh, I wish you the best. No. Thank you. Thank, thank you very much for letting us come on, on your show. Of thank course. you. We appreciate it. Okay. Thanks for watching. Click the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.